Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the problem B, which is making tars. Okay. So we have a sequence of n colored blocks. Okay. And in that block, uh, each uh, element of that array basically defines the color of that block. There are n blocks. Uh, what do you have to do? We have to place that blocks in a sequence in an infinite grid in the following way. So there is a particular order in which we can just place that block. For example. The first block is placed at i 0, 0. The first block will always be at 0, 0. So the next blocks can be at the right position, at the left position, at the top position. It cannot be at the bottom. This is the case. You can just now you have to find the height of the tower. Height of the tower basically means that the uh, the blocks which are placed one over another okay and of same color i will just tell you like that okay so for that you have to just find the height for each color independently this is what we have so let's take an example and understand this thing okay let's take a coordinate first this is the coordinate okay. let's take a straight line Next line will be like this. This will be the grid. Let's see. So, what we have to do is that uh, this is our one, two, three. So the first color will always be here. Second color can be at the right, can be at the left, can be at the top. It cannot be at the bottom. This is the first. Now what is the height? For example, uh, here I have written that first color is one, second color is also one, third color is also for, of one type, four color is also of type one. So if we are placing all the colors of similar type, one above another, so the height of that uh, particular row uh, will be, or the particular column will be equal to the Height of the tower. That is what it is. Now the thing is how we can we can find this thing, how we can solve it. That is the thing it is asking. So now let's understand that how we can solve this particular problem. Okay. The thing is that when you have just pushed a color here, for example, color number one, for example, the thing is color number one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one. This is what the first test case is. For example, you have placed this color number one here. So you can place the second color number two either here, either here, either here. But you will not try to place a different color upon a same color. Why? Because because you want a tar, and a tar can be formed with similar colors only, with similar colors. Fine. So you will try that the two here, the different colors should be at the left or at the right. So let's say that we are placing it at the right in the positive x coordinate. Now again, these are three. So for that three, similarly for this two, it can be either here or it can be either here. But let's say that because we have to take, we have to check for each color independently. So for example, first we are checking for color number one. We want to create a tower of one. So we always want the one cube of one. Or after every one, there should be a one above that. We don't about other care. Uh, we don't care about other colors. So maybe this three can be kept after this. And there's the advantage of uh, of placing this three after this two. Because when we will get this another one, we can place it after here. And then for again, again, for that two, we can place it here. Then again three here, and again one here. This is how we can get a tower of one, three. So we can say that yeah, for tower of size one, it is three. Okay, this is the thing which we can. Now the other thing which we have to observe is, the other thing which we have to observe is, that uh, for example one is here and if we want our another one here we have to either go to right then top then again to left or we can go to left to top to right this is what we have to do okay or we can uh, we can step twice also means like that one left 
then again for once right then again right then top then again left then again left that is also we can do we can also move a place this is what we are so it can be like that yahan par hamare paas two the here we were having two extra colors between one and one so it was like ki humne yahan pe ek two rakha then a three and then again a one for example it was like one two three four five and then another one for example this is the case okay so in that case it will be like uh, that Two, then three, then four, then five. This is the thing is that between two ones or between two same color for which we are checking basically, there should be even number of different colors. There should be even number of because if they, for example there are only two, three, and four. In case there is only what two, three, and four, then this five should not be there. So one can be either place here, here, or here. It cannot be placed. above one there is no way so after every one there should be between there should be even number of different so for example one is here two is here three is here next should one also here then two then three then here there are even number of different colors between two simple okay let's let's take a case ki yahan par bhi one hota let's take a case in that case too we cannot consider this one we will consider this one then this one only three ones are right will be three because we cannot consider this one getting okay. there should be always even number of digits between two so basically for example if the index of this one is zero okay the index of this is zero index of this is one index of this is two index of this is three index of this is four this is five this so there's there's a thing to observe there is a thing to observe that if the difference between two means the number of characters between two elements of the array should be even then they should of they should be of different parity they should be of different parity for example in this case here it is 2 the index of this one is 2 index of this one is 3 then again this index of this one is 6 means it is even it is odd again it is even here you can see index of this is 0 in this so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so you can see the first index is 0 which is even and there it is 5 which is again if we want ki beech mein even number of digits so for example 2 3 again one so it is 6 7 8 so you can see here it is odd so it is even so we want same digits we want same digits okay similar digits but their parity should be alternate even not even not even not, like that this is what we this is what we this is a quite difficult implementation quite different difficult observation which i have made but that is what i have seen. if you will just see at what i have done so you can see here i have just for each number from 0 to n because we have to check for each number independently so for that what i have done is that i have just checked that what is the parity of the last numbers which we have got and the last numbers parity is stored in this mp so in this mp in this map this is basically a map a vector frequency and like that so in that map i have stored i have stored the parity of the last index of that number for example for example i am saying that uh, the array is 1 2 The one, four, one, five, six, one. Okay, and if I will just write the index, so index will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is the end. Now the case is that the first, the the index of first one is two, zero. So I can just write that for M P of one is zero. Okay. Now the index of second one is one. Okay. Here I am writing basically zero mod two. I am writing a parity only. Okay. So it is it is obviously zero mod two is also zero. So it is something like zero. 
it is something like now for the second one i am checking the second one is 3 here it is 3 so its parity is 3 mod 1 it is and it is not equal to the last number spread because we want odd even odd even odd even odd even odd even alternate parities no? we want that so because the parity of the next one is not equal to the parity of the last one we can consider these two we can consider these two as a tower okay so we will we will increase the value of answer one so answer one will be now two this one and this one okay and then we will make this map to one so the last parity of the, the parity of the last one is one which is with three okay which is this three now for next one next one is here next one is here for this one you can see parity is again the index is five so its parity is one so because its parity is it Equal to the last numbers parity which you have taken, the last ones parity which you have taken, we will not consider it. Now for the next one, its parity is eight, means its uh, index is eight, and because eight mod two, sorry, here we have to take mod two, yeah. So because eight mod two is equal to zero, okay, which is not equal to the last numbers parity, we will consider this, and we will update the parity to zero, and we will update the value of answer to zero. That will be the answer. That will be the answer getting this is what we have so here you can see i am just storing the parity if that is the first number in the array means its initial value of map is minus one that means that is the first number in that array so we will just store its parity otherwise we will we will compare the parity of that number that number with the last its last value okay and if it is not equal because we want parity should be not equal. We want alternate parity. Then we will update the value of answer and we will consider it. Otherwise, we will not. And at the last, I am increasing the value answer by one because we are ignoring the first value. You will, you will just understand when you will directly do it. So this is the problem. I know that the implementation is quite tough. Okay. So in case of any doubt, you can just ask me in the comment section or also you can join uh, our telecom community there also you can you can ask your doubt and you can join our post contest discussions you can connect with me on linkedin okay you can follow me on instagram or subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos thank you